Hello, children of God. I hope you're doing well. It's Miss Kristen again, and the lovely assistant, Fiona, and I have a message for you about what it means to be a Christian and about how we can be in the world and not of the world. Now, what in the world does that mean exactly? Hmm. Well, let me give you a little scientific demonstration, and then I'll kind of explain what I'm talking about. So, here we have a glass of liquid, right? This is water. It's plain old water. Now, this could be the world. So, like the most of society, people, everything, everywhere, everyone. Now, unfortunately, sometimes people do things that are not so good, and they can kind of murk up that life. Now, some people think that in order to be a really good Christian, you have to be totally separate and apart from anything that might be worldly or anything in society, anything that people might do that is sinful. You should be completely and totally separate from that, and that will help you to love and serve God more. Well, there's not anything wrong with separating yourself necessarily, but God calls us to serve and witness to the rest of the world. We need to shine the light of Jesus so others can see it. So we can be a part of this world, but not necessarily be in the same murky mix. So if this is Christians, if these are people that love and serve God, well, we can be in this mix and not necessarily be completely mixed in. So as you can see, as this kind of separates a little bit, you can tell, hello cat, you can tell where there's a difference. You can tell that this stuff on the top didn't get all mixed in with the murk. Even though it's in the same glass, it's in the same spot physically located, it's not in the same total mixture. See, Jesus in the Gospel of John was talking to his disciples and he did something really special. He prayed for them. He said a very special prayer for the disciples. He prayed to God that God would help the disciples, and in fact, would help all of us as well. And in this prayer, Jesus said that he, Jesus, was going to be leaving to go back to heaven. But he knew that the people on earth who were followers of Jesus were still going to be on earth. They were still going to be a part of this world. But he prayed that God would give them strength, that God would help them to demonstrate Jesus' love, even though Jesus was not physically present. So Jesus prayed that as Christians, we could be in the world, we could be part of this society, but that we would also be something special, something different, that people could notice that we're not the same as everybody else. That people would notice that God's love in us makes us different. Now, we still love those around us, whether or not they're Christians. And that's an important way that we can show the love of Jesus. We need to demonstrate that even though we're right alongside of everyone else, a whole bunch of different variety of people, we have something special, something that we want to share with others too. We want to share Jesus, and we can do that by living with people and by loving people and by serving people. And when you're a good neighbor, when you're kind, when you say nice things, people will notice that there's something different about you. And they might want to know more. They'll notice that you're among them, but somehow you're not right among them in the same way. That you have something special. And sometimes that means that we can tell people about Jesus. A lot of times it means that we can demonstrate his love. And when we do that, then we can be doing what Jesus wants us to do. Living the way that he wants us to. We're still separate. We're not doing the things that we know we shouldn't do, but that can also give a good witness. If people notice that, hmm, maybe we're living a little differently, well, that's because we have the love of Jesus. 
we have God's Spirit within us. And so, when Jesus prayed that special prayer, he asked that God would help us to live in a way that shows his love. Because other people will know we're Christians by the way that we love, by the way that we live, by the way that we serve them. So, we can still be in the world, we can still be at school, in society, at sports, at scouts, wherever we are, whatever we're doing, we want to make sure that people can notice that we care about other people, that we care about doing the right thing, that we have Jesus' love in us. And they can see that and notice that there's something a little bit different about us. So we can also be grateful that Jesus prayed that prayer for us because we know that we can't do everything on our own. And we know that Jesus died for us. He lived for us. He came back to life for us. So if he prays for us, that's pretty special and meaningful and something that we can remember and we can take to heart that he continues to be in our lives all the time and his presence is always with us. And when we look to him, we can be something different. So let's say a prayer and we can thank Jesus for giving us the strength to be different because we love him. Dear God, thank you for your love. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he prays for us and that he's always with us. And you're always with us. And help us to show your love, to be in the world, but not of the world. Help us to love one another and to show that we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have fun. Have a wonderful week. Go make some disciples. We'll see you next time.